Welcome back to Bourbon Kingdom Advent Day 23. Almost Christmas time. Almost. Hope you got your gifts. I'm still questioning my palate after not getting the last one, though. After how much we love Remus. We do. Life. We do. Th to be fair, I had to transfer that that sample into a sample jar as I did get it in like a mason jar. So I can't say that the cleanliness of said mason jar. Oh no, it tasted great. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm ah. like it could have messed with our your, our, our nostrils nah. a little bit. Nah, I think that's good. I All think right. our palate's trash. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. That goes uh, back to my guess. So points are 57 to 45. 45, ooh. It's not so bad now. Yeah, you just got two days where you have to get everything right. And I, I mean, let's wrong. face it. I mean, the, the victory is yours. Like, I'm not gonna. I know. I'm not gonna catch up. The victory is. I cannot yours. wait to pour you a flight. <laughs> I can't either, honestly. I mean, I'll try anything <laughs> once. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, we'll just put the Jeff the Creed in there, and it'll be good. <clears throat> yeah. All right. So we're at day 23. Uh, super excited. There we go. All right. I gotta. I gotta do a better job from yesterday. Now, hold on. I don't want to pour it yet because that's a candy I cannot figure out. It's like a great candy. Won't lie. Overall, pretty proud of you guys. Everybody who sent something, for the most part, outside of Evan, y'all done a killer job. Very grateful, very appreciative. Whoa. What is this? I don't even know where to begin. I, I really don't even know where to begin. There's like some really nice breadiness and some really nice oak to that. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, this this is from Ken. Oh, it's got a little ethanol in the nose. Um, it's a uh, um, kind of got a funky little smell to it. I don't does not smell familiar at all. Let me, uh, let me coat the glass here for a minute. Hmm. There's just like a, there's a smell in there. I can't really, I can't tell what that is um, from a smell wise. And no telling what Ken's gonna give us. Uh, he's sneaky. I, I can just imagine, like he's he wants to stump us for sure, uh, which I appreciate. Like I'm just off the nose. Oh, there I got something familiar in that. Um, hmm. All right, the nose just officially stumps me, so I'm just gonna go straight to um, straight to just the taste. There's some really nice proof that pops on that. Really nice spice, really nice oak spice on that. And now it's broken, but at least I'm drinking good stuff. Mm. There's so much oak spice on there. 
and it's awesome. Like, I really like that. It is funky, and I like that. All right. A little oaky. Feels. The interesting thing is this kind of smells. Kind of smells and tastes um, dusty uh, in some ways. And I, I, I think it's got some proof to it that that finish is staying with you. Uh, it really does. It stays with you pretty, pretty well. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like this, this tastes like nothing that I've ever had before, and. Um, it's got a it's got a great finish. That's just really interesting to me. Um, I really like that, but it's got a, it's got something in there, and I can't even pinpoint what the taste is. <clears throat> it's just super interesting. What would that be? So, I I don't even know where to begin. I'm stumped. Okay, so we have really good oak, really good oak spice. There is kind of a fruit, like, I'm gonna say fruit punch, but it's not like fruit punch. It's like a punch of fruit that kind of hits you on that the more you drink on it. There's something that reminds me of Heaven Hill on this, and I, but I don't know if it's Heaven Hill. There is some funkiness with that oak. And that's what makes me think Heaven Hill, but I don't know what this would be if it's Heaven Hill. Mm-mm-mm. Hmm. Man, I'm stumped. Gosh, I've been stumped on... This is, this is, I can't get away from Heaven Hill. I don't think it's Heaven Hill. I feel like I haven't had this. There's like a small apricot smell to it. I think that's what I'm, I think the proof point is like, excuse me. I think the proof point is somewhere like mid-teens. Maybe a little bit high teens, like one teens. I want to say it's Heaven Hill. I want to say this is older Heaven Hill. Here's my issue with saying that. I can't think of a Heaven Hill product I've had of this, but there is a like a small part of me. I've had a couple like scotches or Irish whiskeys here lately that I feel like I get a note of that from. I don't think it's any of the. It's none of those. Like I just feel like. Something like that's in there. I just can't say it. I don't know. All right. I'm just going to guess a Heaven Hill bottle. And then be laughed at whenever it's like a... Like a... I don't know. Like something from out west or something. Yeah, I'm I'm completely stumped. I think it's got some proof to it. Probably has some age to it. Um, but as far as distillery and and stuff like that, I'm <clears throat> I'm completely at a loss. I'm gonna lock in and be done because I really don't know anything about that. 
That just does not smell familiar at all. It doesn't taste familiar at all. Um, all right. I feel like, I'm going to be honest with you, I feel like Ken tried to stump us. Oh, I didn't even mention that was Ken. But yeah, it, no, it's Ken. And I, I mean, he's done a great job. Like, I put Heaven Hill, and I I've, put a Heaven Hill bottle, and I don't think it's Heaven Hill. Like, I I've even never, debated if it was a scotch. I, I, it's not a scotch because it doesn't taste like a scotch at all. See, uh, I think there's notes in there that I, I, I can I think, think of. It, with. I think it has a funky smell. has a funky oak. Yeah, it ha there's a funky, and I've never once tasted whatever this is. I can't imagine See, that I don't I think so it. either. Um, I just put a bottle, and I know it's not it. Like, oh, I, I literally put listen, an H I in went, a bottle. I went, I went, like, I went <laughs> all, all over the United States. I went, <laughs> so. Oh, I just hammered down on one. All right, uh, what what did you go with? I said 122 proof. I put 118. Um, I said 12 year. I put 17. All right. I think it could be old like that. I, I, I think it is old. I, I think it is something old. So I think it's like a scotch. <laughs> so here's what I here's where I went. Uh, wild turkey distillery. It's not wild turkey. No, no. I don't think it's wild turkey either. But uh, I said I put Tennessee. Hev I put Heaven Hill. I said Tennessee. Oh God! If he sent us something like that was like Odin Dickel, and then I said bottle was the uh, uh, one of those Garrison Brother bottles. Why do you always go Garrison Brothers? Because it's like way out there, and I've <laughs> never tasted this before. And I've tasted a couple of those, but there's a bunch of them that I haven't tasted. I I put Kentucky and Heaven Hill 17. I know it's not Heaven Hill 17. No, but it's, definitely it, not it's Heaven just Hill like I had to put something. <laughs> Even the guy who can't think says something. <laughs> yeah, I had to put something. Uh, Ken, thank you. I don't even know what this is, but thank you. I think you stumped us for sure. Oh my gosh. Let's see what it is. Chattanooga straight bourbon whiskey. I've never had this. I don't think... This is the 111 proof. Is but this it, is like an old, is this an old one? Hold on. Let me see. Uh, hold on. No, I think this is just like, I, I he got us good. Hold on. Let me go look at something. So this is the bottle he sent, which is what we always talk and brag about. I swear to God, that's like a 20 year old scotch. Yeah, this is, yeah, I mean, this is, this may be the, let me see, batch. Well, I don't know if it's greater than two years. I like how the age is greater, I know, greater than two years. Greater than so that two means years. there's probably some three. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm going to be real honest with you. Out of all, out of everything we've been shipped, okay, out of all the samples, it's between this and then that smoke wagon, uncut unfiltered. But this one I think stumped me even more. I drink this stuff and I do not. That the, It does not taste the same as that, for sure. Smell this, uh-uh, no. No, no, no way, no. no way that is anything. Now, if he sent this to us and, and something happened <laughs> in, the, uh, <laughs> in the process of shipping to us, I'm blown away. I'm blown away as well. Listen, I've drank this before, and apparently I've drank this before, but this tastes <laughs> nothing like what I've drank before. All right. Ken, I want to. I just want to give you a shout out because I did. <laughs> uh, I did get age, and and uh, uh, I, I got proof. I did not get age. I did not get distiller. You got state. I got age. You got two points. I got one. I got two. You got one. Ken, boom. Wow. Wow. Boom. Thank you. I'm making a slow comeback, but I'm running out of days considering tomorrow is <laughs> D-Day. <laughs> so, hey, Ken, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, this we, is great. Yeah, I, I am, I'm seriously blown away by this bottle right now. I am too. Oh my God. As soon as you so showed me the picture of it, I was like, no. I thought it was scotch. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Till tomorrow. We'll see you. See you.